showed when I shared the document the first time. So that I really, that's the, the early starter or bootstrapping issue. To me, it seems really cool and useful for a, a small team. And I'm wondering as you sort of start scaling up the business segments, uh, I could see a large enterprise saying, hey, this is useful, but we've got a big objection, and that's around security and compliance. How do you contend with that? So one of the things is, uh, which is something you guys have had to, had to grow up with, um, is to actually put, uh, put forth the tools that you can actually prove, Where do I like, send folks at the prove compliance, session? prove security. Uh, part of our team, so just a little bit background on the team, is we have some of the core architects from WebLogic. Um, a lot of history with DEA. This is really where our groups come from. Mm -hmm. So kind of what we're actually excited about is right now we've been focusing on really the end user experience, getting that right. As a point we start scaling and going towards that, I'm, I'm actually excited towards that point because that's kind of the, the world we've grown up in. And so that's the solution. What's the install process like? Is it a... So um, we've actually modeled after a little company called Dropbox at this point. That's done pretty well. Uh, you can literally download and share your first document within about three minutes. We actually launch you into a shared document to start. So you're kind of learning the product through the product itself. Does it, does it install native into Microsoft's products? Yes. Or? Uh, so it actually, it's a, it's a Windows application. And so it, it's about a three minute download. One of the things that we've actually done is with, uh, for those of you who uh, use Chrome, we have auto updating. So one of the nice things about our, right now we're in beta, our beta customers are actually getting new versions of Versely as they restart any of their Office apps. So it's a, it's a really good deployment model. What's your feeling around, uh, one of the reasons I asked that is because I know a common challenge in this area is uh, basically all these Office paradigms are kind of becoming a, a bit of a UI war for all these tools that are getting installed and like slowing down the apps and, and kind of breaking yep. the experience because everyone assumes like I'm only installing your stuff into Office. So, Have you guys dealt with that or? Yeah, so if you look at Add an Express as an example that a lot of people build on top of that is uh, one, you have to be careful how, much, how deep in the Microsoft stack you're going. Uh, fundamentally, if you have people installing too many things, you're gonna always run into that problem. Uh, there you tend to have to be the best app or the one with the most utility. Uh, for us, that's, I think as we grow, we're gonna learn a lot more about that. But our motto so far has been be very, very, very simple in terms of not trying to overpower the app or be too data hungry or things of that nature. Have you hit an issue at all? Um, a lot of enterprises really lock down the desktop in terms of what you could install on it. Are you, are you assuming you'll get more like SMB uptake or? Yes, so, so initially that's with the go to market. Um, part of what we're doing is like small teams uh, who can either put it in OpEx who have rights or we're gonna go with small businesses and then as you get enterprise tools, you're gonna have to do IT deployment. Gotcha. Go through the CIO. I mean, it's, it's no way around that. Is there any sort of presence um, within this? Like, how do you? So we actually, if you check a demo afterwards, we just launched this uh, about two days ago. You actually see who's working in the document now, right there. Uh, sorry, I was back on that slide. And part of that, which is nice, is people forget that the human factor is really the important part. Because what happens is you're dealing with a bunch of documents getting synced across from people. When you're actually told that someone else is working on it, I'm more likely to actually email them, or in the document send a message, or get on IM and then actually work out the fact of what we're working on. Right. So it comes apart. So that's actually something we just rolled out, which we're pretty excited about. Do you feel like you've elegantly solved the, uh, I mean, one challenge I've seen with a lot of uh, traditional knowledge workers in office is they forget which documents they've sort of shared using their tools and which ones they haven't, and suddenly yeah. like the CFO's data is getting over here, and like then everybody's kind of freaking out about uh, stuff flying around. Do you handle that elegantly, or is that just a user needs to learn how to use the tool? Uh, so actually what's, what's interesting is as I open a Versely document and I don't actually have, let's say for example, access, like it just got emailed to me but I wasn't included as a person in there, I'm not gonna see all that communication. That's actually completely relevant to the person. It's, one of the big things is context. Uh, one of the things we're, we're really pushing towards is always having context in the conversation like the email I showed there. The manager is actually getting the question and the changes in the document so they, or in the email so they can make a decision. It's like every place we can attach your relevant info to what you're working on, we do it. I really like that it's embedded into the existing user's workflow. And, and I guess I could see this going in a lot of directions. Even when you think about online collaboration around presentations, you know, there's maybe a segment of the market that doesn't need what a WebEx or an X or a go to meeting, go to my PC has to offer. If you're doing shared collaboration around a single object like a document, is that something you think you can realize an ancillary revenue stream offer? Yeah, I mean, one of the things we're looking at is 
if you think about what, what are the different apps you can use within or that basically you want to launch from a document, uh, it would be great to go down the route where you could launch a WebEx from or some type of collaboration tools from there and then record that in the feed itself as well. So I can get a history of here's all the activities I've done, not just communications I've done. And that's something definitely down the road which, which would be interesting. Does that answer it? Yeah, okay. yeah. And, and if you guys, you know, when you think about scale, and I know that you've got confidence in the team and the ability to do that with kind of production software, but all that metadata that tracks and gets tied to those objects, and, and as the conversations get longer and people add more content to it, how do you think about managing that? Uh, first, that means it's very sticky, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. um, second is the way we've broken down the actual level, um, that everything works at the document side, building groups for each person. You're not dealing with kind of a top-down hierarchy, but really it's, it's smaller objects that build up into larger ones. So at this point, it's, I mean, we'll see as that scales out. The, uh, unfortunately, I'm the, the dead weight, not engineer, uh, but these guys have been doing well with it. Any other questions, guys? Congratulations, well done. Thank you.